what up people friends and family the couple people that will probably watch this on youtube um today's january 1st 2024 so happy new year i think today is probably the best day to get started on a goal that i've had for a long time which is to show the life of a cannabis farmer uh, who owns and operates a uh, business uh, completely off grid um so I plan on structuring it as me kind of explaining how I part or how I anticipate the day is going to go. I can assume that most days it's going to be different than uh, how I expect it to go. However, without further ado, I will um, I'll get at it. I started last night trying to get into some good habits. So, talked about that, my task for the day. I have a van on the side of the mountain that isn't necessarily blocking the road, but I my ball joint on the front left tire separated as I was climbing a mountain, and it's not a four-wheel drive car. And this is like five days ago. Uh, and my Ford 350, which has the winch, is in the shop. Long story short, I wasn't able to get it out by myself, so uh, I have a buddy mechanic coming and actually, instead of us trying to pull it out and getting a tow truck on the mountain, which is damn near impossible, we are going to replace the brakes and the uh, that ball joint um, in the mud. So that's probably going to be tomorrow morning, I haven't talked to him yet, but I'll keep you posted on that. Um, I need to sell weed. I need to, I need to make some money. Uh, I need to sell a lot of weed, and I have a lot of weed, a lot of great weed. So it shouldn't be too difficult. It's terrible how low the prices are. Um, absolutely upsetting right now. Wholesales between four hundred to six hundred, depending on quality. Uh, for anything outdoor, depth, outdoor, full term, whatever. Um, so. Yeah, just really trying to to only liquidate if it makes sense because three fifty doesn't make much sense. Four hundred doesn't make much sense. I'm trying to stick in the five five hundred price range, but I'm hoping it goes up. I still have probably a couple hundred more pounds to trim, so I'm gonna buck down. Um, it's like thirteen totes of a peanut butter breath from my first run that I just haven't got to yet. Um, need to buck those down. Uh, I have to touch base with my logger. I'm doing a timber harvest plan and we have postponed that project so many times. So I'm going to get on his ass and then I've got probably 400 pounds of trim and totes that I need to put into trash bags um, for the trim company to pick those up which I might wait for some help on because that's pretty difficult to do solo. Um, I just read you kind of my week list, actually, which is hilarious because, the, yeah, it's definitely a, way more than a full day's full day of work. No, it's not. I don't know what I was doing, but... Yeah, those... Yeah, I don't know. I'm an idiot. I'm high. So, my priorities today are... Yeah, reach out to the people who have samples and press them. Give some more samples out. Oh, I've got some totes here at the farm. Um, in the barn that got shut with uh, a little bit of moisture in them. So I need to bring those inside and get the fire going to get some moisture out or turn on the dehum. I'll probably turn on the dehum in the barn because it's a lot of totes. I need to change the oil in my generator. So my ha this house that we're in right now is completely, um, uh, there's no solar. The, the inverter broke a couple years ago and I didn't replace it. And we have a little generator that has a propane inverter. And so we keep it on basically, basically 24 seven. And you're supposed to change oil in all of these machines at least every 50 to 100 hours so 
it's like a every couple day thing but I get lazy and it's the best way to ruin a machine not changing the oil so I need to download content here because the star this is where the Starlink is at the moment and then um, I have to actually walk over to the a frame and I already said that I'm, I'm not doing a fucking good job here but I don't want to do multiple takes so it's the first one bear with me I have to clean my kitchen at the A-frame. Shit's getting pretty gnarly, and I don't know why, but I have. It's like dishes or trauma for me. I just don't, I'm not good at them. Yeah, and then I just have a bunch of shit around the house that I need to pick up, but that's that. I wanted to talk about some of the content I'm consuming. These days are really long. I wouldn't say lonely, but they're isolating. It's, it's I kind of stay too busy to be lonely, but the... The work is very monotonous unless you're consuming good content. So I really, really appreciate good content. And it's kind of why I wanted to actually start this vlog series is because one, it is really interesting. I think what I get to do, I feel very blessed and it's far different than most people I know. But really it's the the hopes to create a community around what content pe other people on their grind are consuming because the YouTube algorithms and Instagram, everything just kind of seems to pigeonhole. Like once you start, uh, you know, getting in a certain lane. And I like a diversity of not only music, but videos and podcasts, audiobooks. So with that being said, I'm going to leave the comments open on these videos. Feel free to hate, um, whatever. But I prefer if you would uh, participate in letting us know what you are consuming, so, yeah, fucking, Andrew Huberman just released today a podcast with David Goggins, they're both complete fucking psychos, they honestly intimidate me sometimes, just because they're always fucking, they're always on 100,000%, and I don't think realistically life is like that, but it's a two hour and 30 minute video called How to Build Immense Inner Strength. I'm going to give that a twirl. Uh, Jiang Verdon with Lex Friedman. I don't know much about that. It's some nerd shit, but I like to put it on and pretend like I know what they're talking about. Um, so those are the two videos. I'll watch those on YouTube. Although I'm sure you can get those on Spotify or whatever as well. Um, Rogan hosts John Reeves, who's an Alaskan gold miner. I didn't really look into that too much, but I think that's one of the... Um, that's one of the guys on like the History Channel or something that has his own show, it's a family business, I don't know. I have thought about, though, it's like in a perfect world if the cannabis life was ever kind of, um, if it ever made it to a TV show, like my day-to-day, -day, I think the structuring of those history shows are really cool, where it's like season-based, you get to know the farmer, or not the farmer, the miner, and then you kind of see the... Um, yeah, see the growth throughout that season, and I think that's very similar to outdoor cannabis, where it's like very, it's it's not like indoor where we're harvesting you know every two months we get one, two, or three really really big harvests, and they're kind of stacked right next to each other, and so our whole year is is kind of getting ready for summer, and these winter times it's processing, manufacturing, making sure everything is in top order and then really trying to get your finances um finances in order the beautiful thing about farming though is every year it gets a little bit cheaper so that's good audiobook uh i'm going to listen to the four workarounds i looked at a really cool book list it's it's the ink magazine's 15 best business books of 23 the book that i just um downloaded is number four on that list i'll probably give that a 30 minute listen my attention span is not um yeah i have terrible add so i actually want to digest the book so it's going to be a chip away uh should have it done in probably a week or two and then music this is kind of my what keeps me going so noah khan is still uh kind of on shuffle Really can't get enough of the banjo, and um, 
really like his kind of, I don't know, I'm not going to get into why I like him, but he's different right now, and I do like that. Uh, the Velvet Underground's album, I think it's in the 60s, White Light, White Heat. Um, they're pretty groovy. It's also something different than Tommy Guerrero's Amber of Memory. is another album I'm going to play through today on repeat. So that's that the next part of this video that went way too long that was 10 minutes i wanted this to be like three minutes i will definitely condense it down in time um but then i'm going to record time lapses and other things of the actual tasks which I did also not the best job of explaining but uh it's a process you know i'll get it going and this is more for me i think than anyone i really don't anticipate people actually watching this and I'm not going to be posting it on my other socials, trying to get people, you know, I don't know. Everyone's shoving their brands down people's throats and whatnot, so I don't, yeah, we'll see. But thanks for watching. If you have watched this far, that's fucking crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to build a community, trying to do it all, but I would love to hear from you, you know, not only what you're consuming, but things that you think would be cool and maybe questions that you have so with that being said i hope everyone enjoys their new year i'll try to do a quick recap actually no i'm not going to do one on this video because i've been talking too long but um yeah hopefully i'm doing one tomorrow or maybe not if, you know if not the next day but really appreciate everyone and um yeah hope everyone has a blessed 2024 I know I said I wasn't going to do a update, but uh, as soon as I made the vlog today, I got a call from a buyer. So um, I ended up taking a bunch of samples to town and made a whole day out of it. So I got home really late, uh, started bucking down some totes. Um, I only got through three or four, but um, yeah, it was an exhausting day. Uh, the structure wasn't as planned, but such is life. So thank you for watching. Um, I'm excited to make another one, try to get it more on track, more on pace and with more structure, but got to start somewhere. Thanks.